what you're looking at here is a deck of tarot cards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to prick my finger. Okay. You see this? See that? Prick my finger. And now I'm going to say, I intend to bring forth heaven and earth for the benefit of all. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I can carry this to fruition. And place a drop in my bullet. Now, this is called a blood sacrifice. See? And you do this literally for each and every one of these cards. I intend to bring forth heaven and earth and release everybody from bondage. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I can carry this to fruition for the benefit of all. Okay? And you do this each card because each card has a measure of information that's going to rub off on you. I intend to bring forth heaven and earth for the benefit of all. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I can carry this to fruition. Okay. One by one, you go through each one of these cards. I intend to bring forth heaven and earth for the benefit of all. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I can carry this to fruition. Okay. And okay. One by one. I intend to bring forth heaven and earth for the benefit of all. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I can carry this to fruition. And you literally go, one by one. See that? So I end up pricking my finger so many times. I know it's scary for most of you guys. If it's, you know, scary for you, I don't recommend doing this. What I'm saying to you is that this is called a blood sacrifice. You're using your own blood to bring forth heaven and earth for the benefit of all and release everybody from bondage. Whether anybody likes it or not, the earth is flat and every compass that you pick up, that is pointing to the Holy Grail at the center of the flat earth plane. There's no way to fuck this up. You see that you set up your Christmas tree on the X. That's the X chromosome. And you see the candy cane is showing you that the sun must put its light into that hole at the center of the dish or there's no astral jet coming out the Aurora Borealis. That's the Holy Grail. It's at the center of the flat earth plane. And I'm going there in a couple years. And I'm going to bring forth heaven and earth and get everybody eternal life. Nobody can stop me. As far as I'm concerned, all I see is retarded cockroaches out there. Filthy monkeys lost in a bowl, floating in space as an accident. They can't see anything. So, you know, I'll remind you often, this is going to be easy to take over the world. This movie, In Time, you know, right when you come out of your mother's womb, they give you a, a digital insert into your arm, and once you turn 21, you got to start working or something like this, and as long as you have enough credits on your arm, then you get to stay young, or something like this. And if you have enough credits on your arm, you could literally live forever. And he's running with like the guy who has all the time in the world. And, you know, if you have to pay a bill, that it's right on your arm. They blip your arm and then, you know, you got to work. You're a slave. And if you don't make money, you will literally die when you run out of time on your arm. So that's really what reality is. If, you know, if you don't make it to this holy grail before you're dead, you know, you're, it's like you're running out of time. You know, my father's getting old. I, I feel like I got to do everything I can to save my father. You know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, this has to be an exodus because going to the Holy Grail, this is a biblical thing. It'll take people years to figure out how I took over the universe, but it was just that simple. And uh, it was all about your blood because it's all about the blood, sweat, and tears. You know, you see them in the future. They're, tra they, you know, they're going to die. They got to trade time with each other from the wristband. So, you know, Putting up spiritual currency, stacking it side by side on the Ethernet. When there's enough people side by side, you'll see something magical happen. Okay? It's that, you know, you're either in for the benefit of all, or you don't deserve this. It's like I was talking to Santos Bonacci, and uh, it makes sense what he said. He says, you know, these people out there, they're just not worth it. They don't, they don't give a damn. And he doesn't think he has it in him. Uh, to do more videos because it upsets him. It gets him sick that everybody's so retarded. They really think they're on a ball floating through space as a monkey. And I understand. But I'm going to press on. And um, because, uh, you know, I guess it just makes sense. I'm, I'm Satan. This is my world. I'm going to fucking save everybody by getting them the Holy Grail. All I have to do is sit here making videos from the comfort of home. I'm going to get us all there in time. Oh, I know I'm going to get... My blood brothers and sisters there in time. Okay? You want to publish your video side by side, blood thicker than water. That's the lamb's blood on your door. There's no way to escape it. 
The spirit of death will pass you by. You don't have to like it. There's millions of motherfucking witnesses, thousands of people with their blood side by side, blood thicker than water, and a common cause of bringing forth heaven on earth. And uh, it is what it is. Believe it or not, the earth is flat. And if you look at your compass needle, that red line is pointing to the center of the flat earth plane, where there's a holy hole, where the sun must place its light in, or there's no astral jet aurora borealis coming out. So, when you get to the edge of the earth, you see the monolith, and if you jump over the monolith, you end up in the Mobius Strip. You end up right back where you started from. It's just that simple. You're in the holodeck. There's no way to fuck this up. One electron balanced by a positron. One light hole, one black hole on loop. It's in the light bulb underneath the embryonic fluid. It's the division symbol. The sun above your head is spiraling in and spiraling out, bringing the seasons. It's 32 nautical miles in diameter. At high noon, it's 3,100 miles away from you. The black sun is fixed. It's at the center of the flat earth plane. The everyone enter her eye zone. Out from that hole comes the aurora borealis. This is the fountain of youth, and you need to get here before you're dead. It doesn't matter what anybody believes. It is this simple. You don't have to like it. You'll see a lot of videos on YouTube, people talking about summoning demons and all kinds of stuff. And it's kind of funny. If they had any real power, wouldn't they be taking over the universe? But they're not, because they're all filthy, retarded monkeys, lost at sea and legally dead. This is how you do it, people. You ready? You take your piece of paper and your pen, you write it. I intend to usher in heaven and earth for the benefit of all and release everybody from bondage. And you prick your finger, place your blood on that. Once you're done writing it out, you take your needle, stab yourself. Place your blood up. When you're done with that, you're going to burn this in a pot right on your nightstand. Next, you're going to take your lighter. Make sure you do this at midnight. You're going to drip the men's true all blood into the Holy Grail. This is the, the sun, like the candy cane showing you, placing the menstrual blood into the center of the flat earth plane. There's no way to fuck this up. You do this at midnight. On your nightstand. See this? And you're dripping the menstrual blood into the Holy Grail. Very simple. You're calling out to the Great Spirit. I intend to bring forth heaven and earth and release everybody from bondage. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I can carry this to fruition in your name. It's just that simple.